welcome to my kitchen. Uh, this is where some of the composting begins. So after I cut up vegetables or I've left something in the fridge too long, which happens way too often, uh, I just have a little bag next to my garbage uh, under the sink, uh, and that's where I collect my green materials. All right, so here's not the most appealing place in my house. Appealing, <laughs> there's peels in here. Uh, but this is uh, where I collect, so I just put it right in a old Meyer bag right next to my sink, and I just put uh, vegetable waste in here and fruit waste, basically plant waste, uh, except for eggshells, but I do not put any meat products in there. So no eggs, no meat. Uh, it rots, it stinks, and it attracts a lot of raccoons, which my husband has severe issues with. So you wanna make him mad, put a raccoon in our yard. So here's the downside about my bin is that it's all the way in the back. Uh, so I actually only do the composting in the fall, uh, spring and the summer because in the winter this is just a long trek and of course I picked today to show you which it's raining didn't didn't pick yesterday uh, but it's nothing fancy it is just a box and we're making soil and here it is All right, and it's basically just a box made with uh, skids so we didn't have to pay anything for those I found some extra fencing. Uh, this is to keep the animals out. All right, and you can see the lovely uh, compost we got going on down there. All right, so I just put the lid up. I take my leftover materials, dump them in here. I put uh, leaves and paper, and you can see the brown milk cartons and my dirt from old plants. And then I just stir it around uh, with a shovel every couple days. Not days, I wish, that would be nice. So every week or so, um, and then I use this to put back into my potted plants and in the garden. All right. Trying to reduce my food waste.